Being different isn't a bad thing. It just means you're brave enough to be yourself. Quack! One of these things is not like the other. Basic Sesame Street, brother. They sent me to the schools where they try to reform ya. Felt like the honest kid who stayed in California. I'm an untucked darling and I'm proud to be. I'm an untucked darling, doesn't bother me. I'm a strange bird, baby, I'm the first to say. I'm a strange bird, baby, it's the only way. One of these things is not like the other. We see different lines We hear different voices We see different signs We have different callings We're on different crimes No, I'm different by design Aldo, there's one problem though. Oh. It's not down. Oh shit, we, we found a problem. There you go. Oh, the pressure, the pressure, the pressure. It's the pressure on top? Oh no. So we're trying to mount this guy up here and the pressure with the strap is bringing the bottom up which causes us a big gap which will mean tons more filler which we don't want to do. We try to make it as true as possible. So. Can we push it down at all or no? Must be the strap. Hang on one second. Let me get the strap loosened up. Okay. Uh, you have it, right? Ooh. This is really tight. You got it? Ooh. Do you know what seasick is? Do you? Do you know what seasick is? <laughs> okay, I think you're gonna be a good sea dog. Well, this is kind of impromptu. Here's my fiance. 
Look at this, perfect timing. Hey, beautiful. Hi, honey. So, how are the puppies? Oh, my goodness, let me show you. I'm going to stick my head above here. You really? Look what I have in the back. And everyone <laughs> so turns to and see. Fleas and ticks yesterday. So. Fleas and ticks. Thousands of them. We've got every single one of them. We've got the thing sorted out, and there you go. Who's oh, hello, guys. Oh, my God, they're beautiful. Hello, dear. Hello, Missy. Can I pet you? Can I pet you? Pretty girl. Is it a girl or a boy? Boy? Oh, it's a boy. Girl. Oh, no. I yeah. knew there was a girl here somewhere. Hey, girly. How's the puppy? How's your oh, chest water. doing? How's your chest doing? Aqua. Oh. Well, Marissa, I'm proud of you. you You've done a good you? job. And these little guys are killing it. They're so beautiful. Hey, buddy. He had, uh, she had um, ticks all over her chest. I mean, you chest. couldn't even see the dog. Oh my God, that's amazing. How long did they take to do all this work? Well, you can see if you lift her feet up, there's still a couple in there. A couple like, ticks? Yeah, he oh, said wow. they will just fall off. But well, I've oh, been, he put I've the medicine been, on Yes, right? yes, but I, I'm still pulling it off one by one. Oh my goodness. They have all... And they're dead or they're alive right all now? All dead right now. So nothing can hurt our dogs. Okay. Um, there's stuff in between her toes too. But my there's goodness. tons of it, yeah. Wow. Like, unbelievable. That's horrible. Hey, girl. Hey, boy. Hey, mister. So he's uh, two years old? Two years old and two months. Two months? And two years old. For Blondie and Pickles. Blondie and Pickles. Oh, there's a pickle. <laughs> hey, Pickles. He wants to go potty. Okay, let's Can go potty with him. Yeah. Gotta love the puppies. <laughs> oh. Are you still mad at me, honey? Well, I have no room for puppies, but hey. <laughs> Can we do it? Can we do what? Can we save animals in Wyman? Yes, yes, we will. And you will definitely do it. Yes. I'll build boats, you save animals. Yes. So the wall we mounted the other day, we matched this piece to that. We're trying to put some pressure on the top, but reality is we're tweaking our position here, which is not good. So we have to realign it a little bit. Our guy, Martin, our new guy over there, uh, he loves music, so he's rocking us. Good stuff, actually. Basically, this is our new doorway. So if you, if you were to see uh, stairs that will be going, we're right in here, three stairs up to the walkway. This will be designed a little different. We'll have an angle cut that would be more complimentary. Uh, but overall, this is gonna be our day bed here. And there's gonna be another L-shaped settee in that area that goes in 30 inches past that wall. So it'll be quite nice and a nice entertaining area. There will be a sliding door that will go across. So it's kind of a cool uh, open door space made economically. That's my goal here, lightweight, no big aluminum frames. Wherever I can, I try to go as lightweight as possible, but still get the job done with strength. And that is one of, uh, that's taken a lot of consideration on how to make this doorway to the cabin. And uh, believe me, I tried I had ideas to come through here, make this a, um, a, a table setting, but if the table's in the middle, you don't really have a clean walkway, and I lose a bedroom down below, which was what I was really trying to avoid. So right now, with the daybed, I was able to save 
the day or the room for two people it's a little tighter but it's cleaned up real nice it'll be brightly painted with some cool lighting it should be great for guests and then there is a uh a wheel over here we're going to be up a lot higher the stairs will go up you'll have a couple more stairs and all lines will be brought back into one station up there and so it's really coming together it's taking some time it might be hard to understand and believe me aldo often says uh i'm starting to get where, where you're going with this so uh, you're not the only one that's kind of lost it's all in my head but it's coming out and i'm hoping you stay tuned and like and subscribe that would be killer all right, guys, so in regards to the mast, man, we're revealing a lot of uh, patches and stuff that the mast has had under its uh, duration of two different owners. The person I bought the boat from owned it for 20 years, never did anything with the rigging. Had old wire. Some of it was almost about to let loose and drop the rig. It was pretty severe. So I instantly replaced all the wire and... Uh, but the mast really needed a full once over, as you can see here. I mean, every aspect of this mast has been patched up. So as you see here, here, someone had great ideas, but I guess they were changed after they were executed. So these have all been patches with this, um, it's a paper thin tin aluminum. I guess that makes good cover for a position like this. So once we get rid of all the corrosion, grind it all out, uh, we have a lot of steps. But end of the day is it's a really good mass. It's well built, solid, heavy. If I had bought a new one right now, sure, I would save a lot of weight. Definitely. The new technology on masts and uh, the spreaders. I would love, love to have a mast that would come down onto a single footprint because I've got to do a bunch of work uh, to keep my, um, my chain plates in order. I've got to rebuild them as well. really hard to pull off all these parts we've been working on it for um i think now this is this is probably about 12 hours into it hey guys hey we are having a fantastic week unfortunately week eight of construction is ending this is the last day we have two more hours before midday on saturday and uh yeah we've accomplished a lot this week Last week, as you might remember, we got the roof on, and wow, that was, a, that was the biggest hurdle I think I've had part of this whole build was how we're gonna do the roof and hope that it, uh, hope that it goes on as planned, and it certainly did. So now we have basically stripped the mast. We're down to the last few items. So in the next, uh, probably on Monday, we're gonna start to, to sand it, strip it. We've already prepped a, a lot of the holes. We took pop rivets out. They're ready to be welded up. A new boom over there. We have all kinds of gear that we have to put on the boat once we're ready to go. But right now, it's still in development stage. And uh, man, if you could see the mast before and after, you will be amazed. Here is kind of before to get the idea of what we're dealing with. So I guess 40 years really can put some age on someone. Hence, we all know that we've all gotten older or we're soon to be. Anyway, yeah, we have a lot of stuff to do. This shiv still works. This one over here on this side, which is on this side here. This side is locked, will not move. This one here is locked too. So I've got two locked shivs. I have to have a, I have to find a way to get this out and put another one in. So, Week eight is just about out of close. We're doing one last job, which 
I thought it might be noteworthy to just cover. Anyway, they're putting up right now the third wall on the side of the cabin. So this now completes our window sections and we are going to, on Monday, put the deck down. We've almost completed one there. side and the other side I'm sure will be a lot quicker. Uh, Tornillo, see? I gotta put the screws in. Keep tuned because this will really shape up real soon. I know it's hard to see, but every project I do is kind of hard to see until the end. Anyway, hope you're liking and subscribing. That'd be great. I'd like to show you more episodes. Sendles dog food. A lot of dog food. Whatever kind of dog food you got, send it. Okay, here we go. And one, and two, and three, and four. Hi guys, and look at all these little things. This is Spot and all our babies. If anyone wants to adopt a puppy or donate some food or help out, let me know. Myself wondering what did happen to the last ten. I ran away with my life fast forward, never turn back again. It's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to set the rewind.